welcome to the Tasty Table. So, for those of you that tune in regularly, it's usually just the five of us, but today we have a guest, John Rockmore. <laughs> John is a part of the wholesale team, but only part time. He's our local delivery driver and does an awesome job. So, all of you guys that are local to Louisville, you know John really well, so you're familiar with that. Today we are tasting Crackle. It's our winter blend. It's made up of the Papua New Guinea and the new Columbia Nariño Aponte. And you can actually go reference both videos that we did tasting those coffees down below. And they're really fun, so you should do that. Give you a better idea of what to expect when drinking the winter blend. So Kenny, how did you brew this? All right, so I brewed this on the Kalita Wave, uh, which is this beautiful guy right here. And we basically used, uh, what did we do? We did. 40 grams of coffee and 640 grams of water. Um, pretty hot, like 206, 207 on the temperature. Uh, and it was about a three minute on the nose brew time, so kind of fast. Um, but the Kalita, generally, really efficient brewer. It does well at faster speeds, so pretty happy with this batch. Awesome. So one thing we're gonna talk about today is the tasting wheel. You guys always see those on the table that we reference when we're tasting coffee. But we never have explained what they are or why we use them, so Kenny's going to give a little history. Oh, yep, yep. So this is the SCA Coffee Tasters Flavor Wheel. It is a kind of industry standard way to taste coffee. So um, everything on this wheel is arranged in a, in a very helpful and unique way. So the inner part of the wheel is basically really general categories, and then as you go out, you get more specific. So it's kind of a tool for tasting. Um, some of them are meant to be just aromas, some of them are meant to be flavor and aroma, some are just meant to be flavor. Um, and this corresponds with something called the Coffee Sensory Lexicon, which is something you should definitely look up if you're really into coffee. Uh, and it is basically a book of language that corresponds to this wheel that um, has real reference points that you can get at a grocery store. So for instance, um, the way the lexicon defines floral as a category, um, is white grape juice diluted 50-50 in water, which sounds funny, but it's a really, really specific thing that you can get at a, at a grocery store and we can all taste the same thing. So this kind of helps us to all calibrate to a certain way of tasting. Um, and we've committed to use this on all of our bags. So any notes that you see on our bags or on our website are gonna be from this wheel um, directly and, and we've kind of committed to that language. This is a little bit more casual when we're doing the tasting table, so we kind of give ourselves some freedom, but we, we're usually looking at this wheel and kind of <clears throat> using this as a good reference point. So that's what that is. So check those out. They're awesome. And as you're tasting the coffee with us, you guys can pull this up online and reference it too. Or can we put a link below? Link below. There you I go. bet we can put a link below. Click right here. Link we're going to make that happen. We all did a finger. I did a thing. <laughs> Whose finger are you yep. going to choose? John, turn me up to down. <laughs> <laughs> link below. <laughs> Alright, first up, <laughs> aroma. Aroma. Like a grain. I was going to say rye bread. Yeah, mm. some sort of grain. But also, um, cocoa Ooh, powder. I was saying the co I was thinking cocoa. cocoa. Mm -hmm. I'm all over that cocoa. There's a little like, uh, I don't know if it's vanilla or brown sugar. Something sweet. Maybe a little combination of the two. Maybe some almonds. To go back to the like grain mm. reference. You know, like almonds are kind of... Nutty. <laughs> Being that they're nutty. I'm just getting loads of that chocolate, cocoa, <clears throat> that whole category for me is like where the aromas stand. Oh, Alright, let's move on to flavor. Oh, something has a little citrusy in there. What is that? There's very, I get a lot, there's a lot of citrus I'm tasting too. Yeah, like lime, but not... Mine's lemony. Lime. I'm getting a little pineapple. I'm looking to you to help me with the words I'm that getting, I'm escaping. Yeah, lime is... I get a subtle lime, like it, it would be more like, like the rind of a lime maybe, but pineapple's where it's at for me. And then something really sweet, caramelized, like either vanilla or brown sugar. I was thinking brown, <coughs> like a brown spicy and sugar. Mm. Yeah. Having eaten so many of those Christmas cookies lately. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roasted peanuts, a little bit. I get like the flavor of honey. It's a very complex coffee for winter, for sure. Because usually our winter blends are kind of like chocolatey and heavy. Mm -hmm. And this is chocolatey and heavy, but also like citrusy, citrusy. and vibrant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's really cool. Let's move on to body. 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 Mm. It's very delicate. Yeah. Super light. Like lace. Mm-hmm. 
It is light. I, I feel like it's, for me, it's a little bit creamy. Like it's light on the tongue, so it has like a substantive, like, like a substantial, you know, mouthfeel a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's like really the light. song Leather and Lace by Stevie Nicks and Don Henley. Mm -hmm. How about that finish? For me, it's almost like it's juicy all the way up until you actually like drink it and it's gone. And after it's gone for like five seconds, you get a slight dryness. But right. It's, it's yeah, minimal. Yeah. So the official tasting notes are chocolate, brown sugar, and spice. All right. Well, all right. Empty cup. Cheers. Cheers. Get John in. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Good coffee.